Great Risings. Great Risings, Facebook. Great Risings, YouTube. Get your weights. Get your chair. Jump on your bike. Start your treadmill. Well, I fight through with these cameras. Y'all know, same old, same old, different day. <laughs> oh, yeah. process because there's something I had to learn from really want to get the experience and as I said it's a bucket list wish for me to to be able to exercise every day and then along the way <laughs> I learned that at this age that's all you really need all you need is a little half hour of some kind of movement. Now, I was thinking about, I'd have to move my scenery back a little bit. Move my, my camera's a little closer. But I was thinking about, you know, some kind of chest exercises to build this up. But I got time, we're not doing that next yeah but yeah i'm not rushing this process but it seems like it's rushing through we don't even walk fast but it seems like we run into these months <laughs> which i gotta tell you as a young person it seemed like it would take forever ever for a week to get over with Forever for anything, and now it's like shh, 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 shh. I love it. I love it. I know it just means faster for my separation of mad and energy, but I love the experience of it. It's a whole human experience. That's what I was thinking about. There's a whole human experience here that I'm feeling every part of it, every part of working up, every part of loving this body. I gotta tell you, I was taught and raised not to love myself. Oh, you gotta love yourself again. No, I can tell you these people that I came from. No. That was called being vain, self-centered, only thinking about yourself. And so it was frowned upon. Then they all were very superstitious. You know, and also it had to do a lot with enslavement. If I love you a lot, I'll lose you. That was another one. If you think too highly of yourself, you'll leave me. 
So, you see, where's that old wife's tail? Never buy your husband a pair of shoes because he'll put them on and walk out of the relationship or walk, walk away from you. <laughs> um, so there's a lot of old wives' tales and superstitious stuff, too. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, we weren't taught to love ourselves. So, took me years of digging, 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 out the cave, digging. We had five minutes already. You know what? You know, every time we get that five minutes, I start panicking, thinking I'm running out of time to tell you what I want to tell you, because then I'm reminded how short this walk is. And then I said, you're talking so slow, you're talking so slow, and this walk is so fast, and it'll be over with so quickly, and then you'll forget everything you want to say. It, 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 it happens every day, right? <laughs> I was like, dang, I didn't even tell them. Anyway, please go to GoFundMe. Please help me open this safe. Yes. Yes, I will be talking about it and posting about it until it's opening. Which... Will not be this month, but it will be before the end of the year. Yep. It'll be like old acquaintance. Ha <laughs> ha, but I'm gonna think of another song. What can I think of another song? I I'll have it by the time it comes here. And then I have to find out how to angle the cameras to get everything out of the scene the you know like the cameras right there and when it's open they'll catch whatever's down there ugh anyway I don't know why I said ugh in my mind it was something like gross in the bottom of it no no at the bottom of it it's clean all the way. I mean, it's a nice, clean safe. I see. I try to tell myself it's documents. But I'm telling myself that we're going to need to use that safe. You know? That's what I see more of. Symbolism, the symbolism of it. Oh, I know what I need to tell you. So, I know how some people think. I don't know why they think like that. I'm not judging you because I don't know your life experiences. But, I want to take pictures of my face near the safe. So no one can say, oh, she just saying she wants the safe open and she don't have nothing to do with it. So, after I got off here, because I tell you, when I get off here, I'm like, what? I spent a half hour like a wound up toy. And when I get off of here, I run through this place like a tornado. So, when I got off yesterday, this is my routine, when I get off, I bring the dog down and walk her for 10 minutes. Then my daughter takes her and walks her outside for the other 10 minutes, and that's how we get the 20 minutes in. Um, on days, like when it snows outside, well, I'll have to try to get her down here to walk at least 10 or 15 minutes because I don't know how far or how much walking 
my daughter and her will be able to do. So. That's that part. I'm listening to hear what I hear upstairs if I hear the dogs. Anyway. I remember my left my side window open. But I'd be able to hear from down here. So anyway, I cleaned out the closet. Yes, I did. Cleaned out the closet. Two threw away old stuff. Old stuff. But one thing about that dust in that closet, I had to put a mask on. And you clean it and you clean around that safe and you come back the next day and it's still there. So yeah, two bags of garbage cleaned out the closet. Then I had to get down on the floor. Oh boy, that was something. That cement ain't no joke. That cement is no joke, y'all. No jokey jokey in the jokey juke. No. That cement was in it to win it. And then I had to lay down on my side Oh, y'all. Anywho, that's what I did afterwards. The lighting in there is excellent. It's just that I gotta figure out angles, you know, and how I'm gonna use the tripods. Um, And there's that. So, that's what I did. Now, today when I finish walking, it's recycling in garbage day. So, I throw the bags from the basement up that I did from the closet, put them in the garbage, bag the garbage, get the recycling, and then we don't have to worry about that at all. That's done. For the whole rest of the day. So. Yeah, after this walk. No, I don't, I don't sit down. And especially now since I've been trying something different. Now. Y'all know I usually do. My cucumber. Pineapple. And lemon juice. Fresh lemon juice. And there's another one that everyone talks about, another diet, and it calls for instant coffee, lemon juice, and honey. Well, I do coffee in the morning. So I said, how am I going to do that? So, as I tell y'all a lot of times, the Best deal about this age is you don't have to take a lot for it to work. So I cut my morning cup of coffee in half. First half I put with the honey and the lemon juice. The second half I watered down and drank like regular coffee in the morning. Well, honey, yesterday, I was like, oh, this ain't really doing nothing. But this morning, singing a whole different song. Now I'm torn. Do I want to stick with the coffee, honey, and lemon? That, whoo, child, works really well. Or do I want to... Go back to my other cucumber, pineapple, lemon every morning. 
Now, the pineapple lemon stuff is filling it. It, it, it releases, but it's filling it. And I usually flush it down with my um, vitamins. But the coffee is really good too. It's really good. So if you ever want to try something to get rid of that, yeah, that coffee hit the spot. So until I go running around on Sundays, it just seems easier to go running around on Sundays because a lot of people aren't. Hey, we're at the half of the walk. Now, this is where I usually talk about my book. Um, I like to say yes, but please go to GoFundMe and donate to please help me open this safe. We'll both be glad you did. Let's see who came on the walk with me. Oh, hello. Enjoy and be safe. Thank you, you too. <laughs> we have a visitor that came through. All right. Ooh. This weather is crazy, y'all. One moment, it's cold. The next moment, one moment is hot. The next moment is humid. Yeah, I was moving some boxes around yesterday, so. Yeah. So I told y'all about that. Tomorrow night is roller skating. But I have to make sure. I only got one wrist guard for my ice skating gears. I got my knee pads. I got my elbow pads. I got my helmet. Um, but I'm missing one wrist pad, which is good. When you fall, you, you know, you put your hands up, but instead of striking you, it hits that guard. Which is really good. So. That's what I need. Yep, we're almost done. Because I did all that pushing and carrying yesterday. Whew, it took a little bit longer for me to. Wrangle and straighten out this little pain in the leg issue. <laughs> yes. Great rise. And did I say great rise in Canada? Wow. Wow. End of the month. We walked through October. Really proud. Talk about long term goals. We are hitting them. <laughs> we are definitely hitting them. Wow. Yeah, I'm excited about the safe. You know, I said to myself, how unbelievable. That's another reason why I had to take pictures and put my face by the safe. Because you know, my daughter saved and you know, worked so hard to get this house. She had to become a real estate agent to get the house in the neighborhood she wanted. Because okay, mute, mute. 
because they have designated areas that they tell real estate agents to take the minorities to. Um, also, the bank will only give them a certain amount of money so they can stay in the neighborhood where they're at. You know what I'm saying? Um, and of course, it goes down to the jobs, etc., etc., etc. Yes, which leads me to getting off the safe now. I was thinking last night, I was like, you know what? Just go ahead. You, you did your little videos. You got stuff to do, editing to do on the computer. But just go and go to bed. Put your feet up now, 8 o'clock. And I was like, ugh. 8 o'clock is so early. And boy, did I bitch slap myself. Some said so early. You used to be standing on the platforms in the snow and the rain at 9 o'clock waiting for the Ori Oriental Express. That's Metro North. They call it the Oriental Express. Hey, thanks for coming on the walk. They call it the Oriental Express because back in the day, in the 90, 80, 90, it was a lot of... Uh, Japanese people in Westchester County and and in Greenwich on the Metro North Line. And they used to call it the Oriental Express because it was like some kind of mandate that they work late. So they didn't get off work to 8 30, 9 o'clock, etc. etc. I don't know if their time was connected with Japan or whatever. I would think they'd be like way off. Anyway. They just called the Oriental Express. And I would be praying, wrapped up, never dressed warm enough, never dressed to be dry enough. They said it's no bad weather, it's just bad dressing, and it's true. I, it didn't, I never was able to connect. And I would stand on that platform, and I would say, I can't wait. I can be in bed at nine at eight o'clock. I can't wait that I can be in bed at nine o'clock. I can't wait until at ten o'clock I'm in bed and not standing on the platform waiting for the train. Man, what a wake up slap for me, honey. I Pop my ass in that bed just as good. Hap, 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 hap. Happy, 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 honey. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, Lord. I sure did. I pop my ass in that bed just as good. I remembered. I remember. I remember changing trains at 9.30, 10 o'clock at night. They say, oh, just let me get home. Just let me get home. Just let me get to bed. Just let me take a shower. No, no, no. No, I'll shower in the morning. Just let me get home. And I remember walking that one and a half, two miles from the train station home saying, oh, I mean at night. Snow, hail, sleet. It didn't matter. So... I got good rest last night. I'm going to pop my ass in bed and I'm going to try to do it again tonight. And every night I think about them tricking days. Or 4 o'clock in the morning. Getting off of work, jumping on the subway. Getting on the platform. They got lights and, and cameras and everything now, but they didn't have it then. And you had to find your way. You didn't want to be standing where the conductor was because a lot of times in a lot of train stations when you stood where the conductor was you had no exit you had you were like way away because he's in the middle so you're in the middle platform and there's the exit on the end and there's the exit in the beginning but there's no exit in the middle 
So at 4 o'clock in the morning, you got to start thinking. You get on the front of the train. You get with the conductor. And that car is full. That, you say, how do people drive around, uh, you know, in New York? If you're lucky enough that you have an exit where the conductor is, then you get the middle car. But if your train station only has an exit in the beginning or the end, or only an exit in the beginning and none in the end and none in the middle, then you know that you'll be riding in the car with the motorman and everybody, and you probably won't get a seat. But you'll be safe. So I hop my butt in bed. Let's do some finger exercises, y'all. <laughs> and I slept good. And I slept good. And I'm well rested. That's what it is. I'm well rested. Whew, I exhausted myself thinking about them days, honey. And we ain't talking about the days when the trains went down. And then you had to take a train to this point. Then you had to get off the train, walk upstairs, get on a bus, and they'll take you across town, crowded, crowd, I mean, put, oh God. And then it would take you across to another train line that would help you continue to go. But now when you get off, you're about two to three miles away from where you need to be in Westchester. So that means you got, whoo, honey, walking them dark streets. And all I kept saying is, I just want to get home. I just want to get home. I want to be warm. Or I want to get home. I just want to get home. I want to be dry. Or I just want to go home. I just want to go home so I can eat. And so, yeah. I happily take my ass to bed. Call it old, call it what you need. I have the chance to do it, and I'm doing it. And I pop my feet up, and I get my fill-in book sometimes, that fill-in, and I last give a little game, and I listen to my podcast on my YouTubers, and I'm fine. I'm fine, y'all. So... No, Randy ain't laying in bed. Please stop me. <laughs> she ain't do nothing to that all day. I just want to get that rest that I didn't get for always going, always doing something. Just like now. I think myself is telling me, if you don't get your butt in that bed, because if you stay up, you won't find something to do. <laughs> Let's tuck in your elbow. Let's knock this 15 out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. I want to get luck. Let's tuck in our elbows. Squeeze our good. Squeeze the good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16 was the one for good luck. <laughs> well, y'all, this fast walk, how can you not exercise for 30 minutes a day? Do some kind of movement, even dancing. Well, that's what I should add to my thing in water. Get your, <laughs> I want to say get your records, but they don't get records no more. Pop in your cassette. Oh, we don't have cassettes anymore. Uh, pop in the CD. 
We still got kind of like CDs. Or hit your favorite streaming music station. That takes so long. Turn on your music. Because even if you danced, even if you danced to your oldies or whatever for 30 minutes or as long as you can, remember those steps, those two steps, you know. Remember when you were dancing kings and queens. I tell you, there should be no one from my age group that... That's not active, because I want to tell you, I came from the disco era, and we danced all night, all night Friday, all night Saturday, the next day. Yep. Well, thanks. Thanks for your support and walking with me for half hour. Please go to GoFundMe. Please help me open this safe. Oh, yes. Thank you. And I'll see you tomorrow. You got two, what is it? Hot 23. And a half hour to do what you want to do. Enjoy it. And be safe. Ooh. Hey, Patty. <laughs> hey, Patty. Thanks for coming on the walk. YouTube, please subscribe. Like, share. Facebook, please comment, like, share. See you tomorrow. Thanks for your support.